What's happening guys? Welcome back. We're breaking down another beer from Brew Detroit from their variety pack. It's going to be Cold Brew Detroit, the hor Horchata, uh, stout brewed with coffee. So sometimes hard to say, Horchata. Okay, there we go, guys. We have another 6% brew from these guys. This is a cold brew coffee stout with a hint of cinnamon, sugar, nutmeg, and vanilla. So again, out of that variety pack coming in that I think is $13.99 for that variety uh, four pack, guys. So again, that's the only way you can get it as far as I know time of recording so today's march 1st by the way um busy day i was out running a lot of errands i'm back at it i'm gonna review another beer for you guys uh, i will be reviewing uh the the new high noon tequila version seltzers coming out vodka soda whatever you want to call them uh, very shortly so if you're watching this video you know what's coming up let's go to the proper detroit glassware again lighter beer as we pour look at that form baby such stellar form. Almost a dad form, aka next month I'll be a dad. Okay, let's put that in perspective. I'm old and washed up. Okay, darkness, cola, light brown, mocha head sitting on top, sticky to the glass, dissipating ever so slightly, aroma. Ton of coffee, man. It's a lot of coffee. I just had a um, right brain CEO stout like three, four hours ago. Tastes a lot like that, smells a lot like that, I should say. It doesn't taste like it, necessarily. Um, we're not that far yet. Yeah, I smell like bundles of, of roasted coffee goodness. Um, almost espresso-like notes. It smells light, but aromatic in that coffee department. There's this nice dose of kind of like vanilla lactose milkiness that's underneath all of that roasted coffee. But tons of coffee, but it's got that horchata kind of vibe to it. It's got that kind of nutmeggy cinnamon rice pudding kind of vibe. Actually, there's a dish that's like a, a Greek traditional um, dessert that it's like rice pudding with cinnamon on top. It has a little bit of that vibe in there. So again, I'm Greek. That's why I bring those things up. It smells like yeah, it's freaking homemade rice pudding. Okay, let's dive in, guys. Cold Brew Detroit horchata. Cheers. Ice cold, by the way. Probably be better as it warms up. I just want to put that as a disclaimer. Yeah. Okay. Again, this is creamy, man. It's silky. It's smooth. Um, the coffee roasted goodness is definitely a dominating factor in here. But you get that like nice nutmeg, kind of nutty cinnamon, rice pudding, eggnoggy kind of vibe underneath the coffee. And it's really decadent underneath the coffee. Um, smooth, 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 smooth. Almost nitro-like in a way, but it's very silky the way it goes down underneath all those roasty toasty uh, espresso notes. It's good. Sugar. Hmm. I could see it. I said like lactose thing. I guess that sugar does come into play. Uh, not a very big bodied beer as these are all 6% on that variety pack. This one, no different, very light. Um, but it has that little shine of decadence to it. So um, I, I think it, it drinks better than 6%. Like the body feels just a little bit more creamy and full than that. Uh, but the drinkability is off the charts. So again, it's, it's drinking like a, you know, coffee light stout like it should, 6%. But at the same time, it, it's got even more drinkability than 6% because it's so decadent and rich and, and yummy that it, it really drinks like a 5% beer. Um, so it's kind of somewhere in between with the mouthfeel. I mean, it's it's got the creamy decadence, yet it drinks light and roasty and toasty. Um, super tasty again. I mean, these are, these are underrated. I think this pack from them is gonna be extremely underrated. I feel like it should have more hype with this variety pack. Now you put these into a bigger bodied stout, maybe eight to 11%, maybe it gets more hype, but 6% sometimes gets overlooked. Mm -hmm. I love that it's got that vanilla sugary goodness, but it's still dry from the coffee, the roasted goodness. Cinnamon, not too overdone, not too overplayed. Cinnamon can ruin a beer. This is not even close to ruined. It's it's perfect. It's it's excellence in the glass. Um, still coffee shining through too. 
Fantastic beer. Very good. Um, it's hard to knock this one because I feel like it's exactly what it should be. Horchata coffee. It's got those things. Got a little bit of that baking, nutmeggy, cinnamony goodness, yet uh, decadent rice pudding, eggnoggy spice, but not too much. And again, creamy center and roasty espresso notes. Fantastic beer. Um, yeah, it's really good. And I love coffee, so. Uh, 3.9 out of 5. This is uh, one of the last reviews I'm going to do. I have one more. It's going to be Cold Brew Detroit Mocha Habanero. That will be the last review in the pack, guys. So it is what it is. Thanks for being here. I'm Dan. Catch you on the next review. Cheers.